moving on. It's four weeks to the day since the motorcyclist Trevor Ferguson was killed while competing at the Manx Grand Prix. The 48-year-old from County Tyrone was married with three kids. The tragedy resulted in his grief-stricken nephew, Rand Farquhar, the most successful rider in the history of Irish road racing, announcing his premature retirement from sport. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rand Farquhar. Decided that's it, or did you need much time to think about it? It was not like a shock. Was it instinctive? You know, whenever, whenever, you know, we're told that Trevor, you know, hadn't made it, is the the, the term that was used whenever they told us, you know, that he had been involved in a serious incident at the nook and he hadn't made it. But it's just that big a shock at that stage. I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about, you know my own race and I just saw, you know, the devastation that it caused with, you know, with Trevor's wife and, and kids and uh, my grandfather, you know, and it just tore us apart. You alright? And then you, you quite quickly decided you couldn't do that to you, your family, you couldn't take that risk. Well, I always knew, you know, anybody that's involved in the road racing, it's not a sport to us, it's, it's a way of life and I always knew that, you know, one, it was selfish, you know, whenever, whenever I had a, a family of my own, but I just, I love road, road, road racing that much and, you know, I got so much pleasure from it, it's just, you know, it's just something I love doing, never thought it would ever happen to me and whenever, whenever I saw how simple it can happen to one of the safest riders, you know, ever to race a, a bike on the, you know, on the open roads, or uh, it just brought it home to me. And there's there's so many things that you know I haven't done with my family yet. That you know, because I'm so caught up in bikes, you know, seven seven days a week, you know, fifty two weeks a year, a year for the past number of years, and there's just things I want to do with the family. And I just thought now it's time to you know to to knock it in the head. I still love road racing. I still want to. Involved in it, but those, uh, those, those lovely children was, was that the determining factor in that? No, there's no doubt about that. You know, like yes, I'm married and Sharon just supported me through thick and thin, but uh, you know, I've been racing longer than Karen has known me, and she knows what it's all about. And you know, it's become part of her life, you know, her life revolves around it. But it's, it's, it's Ryan, was there, was there a sense of relief? When you said that's it, there's a massive weight lifted off my, my shoulders purely because there's no pressure anymore. Uh, whenever, whenever you, whenever you race bikes for a living, you have to you have to go out and win or do well to, to get prize money to, to pay the bills. And, uh, the pressure from that is gone now, but. That's it. I will miss it. I'll definitely miss the adrenaline rush. I'm hoping that long term I can stay within the sport and help possibly up and coming riders and try and make it safer for them, you know, through uh, information, should it be on track knowledge or bike setup or, or whatever. But it's, when it's in your blood, you just never get away from it. But I definitely will, uh, I will miss that adrenaline rush. You're still running a, a, a racing team. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I ask 
you a difficult question. I just want to understand that you're basically saying when you look at your children, the, the risk isn't worth it. So end all, right? And yet if you're willing or willing to you're kind of facilitating other people to do it and take that risk that you think's wrong or well, you know, I've been there and done it. I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that has done it for, for 20 years and, you know, been, been in a position to call the day. So the inter sport and every rider that throws their leg over the bike, they know the dangers. And there's there's young lads out there, uh, they're, they're mad keen to get at it and they know the risks. And but do they really understand the risks? Like you've had this personal tragedy. To bring the risk home to you. They haven't. Well, Let me put it a different way. We saw your kids there. If one of your kids said, Dad, I want to take up racing, what would you say to them? I would try and support them as best I could. Uh, would you try to put them off? Possibly, but if they were determined that they wanted to do it, I would, I would be 100% behind them and try and make it as safe for them as possible. You know, I have the experience, I've, I've been doing it a long time, I know how bikes need to be prepared, I know what way circuits, you know, what safety improvements can be made, you know. Road racing's gone through a really diff difficult time because of lack of sponsorship, you know, there's a recession and, you know, everybody's getting it hard, but th there is lads out there that, you know, there's nothing else in their head, only going road racing and... If, if I'm in a position to run a team, you know, I would like to, to be able to help them to leave it as safe one as possible. I've got a real sense from you of how it's in your blood. I can see that dilemma. I can feel it. It's, you know, it's my life. You know, it has been from I've, uh, from I've left, left school. Uh, my two girls, Karen, you know, from my girls has been born. They have been in a, in a paddock and that's all we know. I want to thank you, Karen, for coming in tonight. Thank you so much. And Ryan, thank you for talking to me tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Farquhar.